Welcome to the Homeowner Connector, bringing you the best. I am so excited today to have with me one of my favorite, favorite, favorite people in the world, Dawn Drew. She has a staging company, and I am so excited to welcome her. So welcome, Dawn. Glad Thank you're here. It's so nice to be with you. I'm so excited that you're doing this so people get the best resources. Right. Okay. So I ask all my guests the very first question, what myth about your profession do you want to bust today? All right. I would say that a lot of times people think staging is about making your house beautiful. And I tell everybody, I'm not here to make your house beautiful. I'm here to make it marketable. And it's quite a different thing. Wow. Well, I know why you're called the wow factor. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Well, um, I would say that most people think staging is just rearranging. And that, that is a very important point. The, and the whole point of staging is to get your house sold. Right. Right. right? It's okay. All about the pictures, Dia. It's all about the pictures. If you don't look great in pictures, you can have a beautiful house. But if it doesn't photograph well, you've lost people right away. Hmm. So that, that is an important point. Mm -hmm. So tell us, and the next question is two, two either trivia details or fun facts, or maybe some uh, job jargon that you have in your profession that we might not know. All right, what I'd like to remind our sellers is that only 17% of people can imagine something different from what's in front of them. So when we're using the phrase, um, well, people are just going to have to understand, every time you say that, dollar signs come off. And so if we keep in mind, we're, we could almost say we're working with a handicapped buyer pool. They can't imagine something different. So the more we're able to do in setting it up well, again, as we mentioned for those photos, the easier it is for people to imagine uh, the home that they want to buy in your house. 83% of the people that walk through your home cannot imagine a different color or a different arrangement of the furniture? Exactly. So they, if they can't see past the stop, so that's why we say working with a stager is so important because we're the objective eye when we come to your house. So you asked me about an insider jargon uh, or term that we use. I love the term room dandruff. So when you take a whole room and you shrink it down into the little MLS photo, a lot of things appear in the photo that become distractions. They're what we call room dandruff. And if we take that out, people can actually experience and see the room in clarity in a moment because they need to be able to take in each room at a glance and have clear identity and draw them in emotionally where people actually make decisions in the emotional center of their brain. Well, just like you try to get rid of dandruff, uh would it be, I mean, wh why not just not have anything in the room? Oh, because then what happens is you see all the flaws in the room, you lose scale, and you lose identity. And when a buyer comes to your house, they want to know what's in it for me. They need to see the value for each and every room. Otherwise, why do they want it? So we go back to that 17%, only 17% can see past things. So if it's empty, you're giving them nothing to see or to imagine. I, I, can, I can agree with you on that. I've taken buyers through empty houses and had them stand in the dining room and say, is this supposed to be the dining room? Like, what else would it be that you just bumped your head on the chandelier that didn't have a table under it? Exactly. And so we lose the emotional appeal too. You know that feeling as an agent, you know that people mm -hmm. walk in and they're like, oh, wow. And they start to fall in love. And then when they see value in this, in this house, that's when it converts into dollars and becoming an offer. Mm. And I guess it makes a difference in the color scheme and all the emotions that are caused by colors and you know what's popular and mm -hmm. i'm assuming you advise people on what colors and how to add a different throw pillow to pop 
Yeah, we can help people save time and money, which is important to us. We hate when we come in and we find someone's painted the wrong color, you know, that you get that little bitty square and you put it up on the wall and you think, oh, that was not the color I chose. Mm -hmm. We know what's going to come up right each and every time. And that will help buyers see your house in the best way. Right, because 83% can't see it in the best way and we have to help them. Absolutely. So good, so good. What are three tips that you'd like to share with our audience? Okay, one would be pre-pack. Pre-pack is your friends. So don't think about the work involved. The more you can pre-pack some of that room dandruff and stuff that's going to go to your new place, you will thank us later when you get ready to move. It'll serve you in those MLS photos, but you've already got it packed up for the new place. Do you have a, say a percentage of how much should be pre-packed? I would say you always want floors free of debris. You don't want uh, lots of stuff on surfaces. So we will generally say if it's smaller than a cantaloupe, pack it up. So all your little collections, pack it up. Pre-pack those personal photos, they'll be ready for the new house. So it's a good rule of thumb. And, and course, make sure you label your boxes. Label your boxes, absolutely. So Don Drew says label your boxes, so does Dia Irby. So. <laughs> Yes. Well, that's a great rule of thumb if it's smaller than a cantaloupe. Yeah. That, that's a very tangible, I can follow that rule. I can walk through a room. Absolutely. That's great. Thank you. Next second, tip. Yeah. Second thing I would say, um, one of my favorite products, if I had to say a favorite product, you know that smell that you get in closets, in bathrooms, you know, especially if you have, I have four kids, you open the bedroom door and you're like, what? Teenager smell. Okay, Damp Rid is one of my favorite products. Because Ooh. a lot of the odors that we have hang on to moisture. So you think hampers, shoes, you know, mm -hmm. sneakers. And so Damp Rid, you can hide it around and it'll actually take the moisture out of the air and the odors that are attached to those moisture molecules. So you can usually find them at Home Depot, Lowe's, Bed Bath & Beyond, you can use those expired coupons. So it's a great thing we recommend for most houses. So, so it comes in that little jar, plastic jar, and you just take the top off and put it in the... In Absolutely. The Follow the directions. Avoid the hanger ones because they're scented. And the best smell in a house is a neutral smell. Otherwise oh, oh which... which what do you think about people that put room deodorizers or fresheners in all the rooms and burn candles? Right away, people think, what are you covering up? And mm. more, we have people who are allergic to them. I am highly allergic to them. Yes, so, that is a good point. Yeah. Best smell is no smell. A clean, fresh, empty of fragrance. Absolutely. And your and third tip? Yeah, the third tip I would say, you want an objective eye. So your agent's going to help with this, bringing in a stager. I'll tell you a secret. When I sell my homes, I bring in one of my colleagues. Because you need an objective eye. We have all those things that bother us about our home that if you put your time and resources in it, may not earn you dollars. Mm. So having that objective eye is just so important because they are going to really save you time and it's money and to help you make money when you list your house. You know, I've, I've heard people say, well, I don't want to get a stager. It costs too much money. But you keep saying it will save you money doing this. We will save you money doing that. We will save you money uh, doing whatever. You've mentioned that a number of times. Right. So uh, that's a myth to bust exactly. <laughs> that a, 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 a stager is expensive. But no, a stager saves you money. And absolutely, and a great stager is going to work with what you have instead of insisting you empty out your house and let them bring in a bunch of stuff. So you don't have to get rid of everything. No, sometimes just a few little tweaks here, some fresh pillows, a couple of pieces of art or greenery. Because remember, in those photos, less is more. So you don't need more stuff. You need right. someone who's committed to working with what you have. Well, what about this? I've had people drive up to a listing and then say, mm, no, let's don't go in. Because mm -hmm. all we've talked about is the inside of the house. Absolutely. But that curb appeal is still very important. So at the wow factor, 
we can't talk about other stagers, about the wow factor, it's gonna be from curb to your, the end of your yard. And we'll discuss that from colors, simple landscaping tips that don't cost money and or cost very little, but have a huge wow factor. Well, I know you've mentioned just the simple thing of, the, and shown the, uh, before and after of edging on the sidewalk. That doesn't, if you can get an edge or you can do it yourself, and you it, a it makes shovel. a total lot of difference. Right, if you take a flat shovel and just dig straight in and pop the dirt a little bit, you will get a nice crisp, e crisp edge that will look like a professional landscaped yard. Well, that's awesome. So much, I know that we could talk forever, but you have given us so much to think of already. And I'd like to wrap up with you just talking about what you love about your job. Oh, wow, I, I love that moment that the light bulb goes off. I, I just love it. Part of our consultations when we come in and meet with people, we'll do some transformational work while we're there. And that light bulb where people suddenly enjoy their houses again and they think, why didn't I know this sooner? And that you just see this um, joy bubble up. And mm -hmm. it's, oh, it's like that HGTV moment, you know, the big reveal. And so Ooh. I look at it again and again, whether we're working with homeowners who are selling with their stuff or we're doing a vacant property and bringing all the items in, that moment they walk in the door and they get the wow factor. And then they look at the pictures that you have gotten rid of all the dandruff in the room so the pictures look great. Well, I know that people are gonna wanna get in touch with you. And there are multiple ways to get in touch with you. Absolutely. You, you can find the wow factor all over social media. What's your favorite or what, tell us how, to, how people can get in touch with you. Okay, well, it's really easy to go to our website and you can email us through there or you can then just call my phone directly. That's actually my mobile and it's always with me. So 919-215-4043. We're easy to connect with. That is amazing. Of course, Dawn. I call you, Dia. Well, yes, they could call me and I will make sure I get them in touch with you. That's right. <laughs> this has been fabulous. There's so much here. I know people will want to put it in slow motion to uh, take it all in or pause it and write down notes because you've given us so much. I told you I was bringing you the best out there. Thank you, Thank you Dawn Drew of The Wow Factor. I so appreciate you being my guest today. Thanks for having me, Dia. All right, bye guys.